comparison, there'll never be no comparison, you're live on the show, sit back and have a listen. All right, all right, LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison, you're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Boy, well, this didn't take long, did it? Oh, this didn't take long at all. Congratulations to Caitlin Vieri. Congratulations. Um, you're definitely on the no love list. You're an honorary inductee on the no love list. And I actually told y'all that Caitlin uh, Vieri, I actually told y'all, okay? I told y'all that she was going to be on the no love list. I told y'all this ahead of time. As soon as this woman started doing things or doing something or beat somebody of significance, I said she was going to be on the no list, uh, the no love list. And uh, Caitlin Varia, she defeated Sarah McMahon in impressive fashion. Um, and that got her a one way trip to the no love list. Now, you know, you got some of these fans, and, you know, these are fans that, you know, they say that, you know, they look for certain things in fighters that they like, okay? They want a fighter who, who's not afraid to fight and throw hands. You know, they want a fighter who will stand in vain. You know, they want a fighter who, you know, can definitely do submissions. And you got Caitlin Vieira. She's embodied in all of those things that these fans want. But that, but that's still not enough to please some of these fans. And just looking over YouTube channels in general and social media, just the names that this woman has been called, okay? And, of course, you know, now because she's a Brazilian sister, they're trying to... I don't know, equate her to steroid usage. How could I really not see that that was coming? Did you? How could I not see that wasn't coming? I saw it coming. I saw it coming a mile away. I did. And I tried to tell y'all this. So Caitlin Vieira has earned a one-way trip to the no-love list. And boy, I tell you what, boy. That no-love list for these Brazilian fighters, that thing's going to grow. <laughs> that thing's going to grow. It's going to get more. There's definitely going to be more women on the no love list I tell you now you know you're thinking okay what could make a person be on a no love list how, how do they get on the no love list see the no love list you can get on the no love list because of fan dislike or you know you can be hated on by the company you work for called the UFC oh yeah and I knew she was gonna get on the no love list and I figured that if she beat anybody of significance I knew she was going right on that list so I can almost say that making the coach Shelton Harrison no love list should be an honor because if people hate you that much and if these fans already don't like you, well, you know what that means, right? That means that by their own admission, by their own admission, they're pretty much saying, you know what? I don't like this Brazilian. You know, I don't like this manly looking Brazilian. That's what they're saying, too. A lot of, I don't like this manly looking Brazilian. And guess what? You know what? Uh, this, this Brazilian might go beat my favorite fighters, PG-13 channel. That's what they're saying. So when a fighter is on the no love list for Coach Sheldon Harrison, when that fighter gets to that level, that means that they've made it. That means that they've made it and they're making a wrinkle in the sport. That's what that means, y'all. So don't, don't get upset at certain times when you see your fighter, a fighter that you like on the no love list, okay? Don't, don't see that. Because the, if you're on the no love list, you don't get any excuses, okay? You can't be sick if you're on a no-love list, okay? You can't have an off night on the no-love list, okay? And you have to always win by knockout. Because, see, if you don't win by knockout or if you don't finish the person, then what they're going to say is you're a born fighter. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I mean, I got to tell y'all this, okay? Dang. Well, Caitlin, the coach... As long as you're keeping yourself and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and you're clean about it. You see, on this channel, it's not going to be the same thing. It's not going to be the same thing. It's not going to be the constant bashing of certain Brazilian fighters. That, that, that doesn't happen on this particular channel. Because, see, you, you're going to have fans that come and, and these fans are going to tell you, well, 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 coach is just biased. And they're right. I already said I was. <laughs> oh man <laughs> oh man I tell you man crazy 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 <laughs> 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 
yeah, that, that's what it is, okay? But I keep telling everybody, I keep telling everybody that this no love list is going to grow. It's just, and you know what? I'm coming out with the Coach Shelton Harrison No Love List Volume 2. Oh, man. And look, you're going to want to see who's on the Volume 2 No Love List. If you thought Volume 1, oh, if you love Volume 1, then Volume 2. Because these fighters are damned if you do, and they're damned if they don't. And that, my friends, well, that's just the way that is. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harris, and I'm done. Shout out to you, Caitlin Vieira, for your impressive victory over a top 10 opponent. I'm done. Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.